Do you use ChatGPT or have you? That's a common question I ask people now because that was something I had never used before. I'd heard about it. I'd actually became a Facebook friend of them just to see what people were talking about well before I even used it. But when I started using ChatGPT, I first started about, I looked at it as something that would help me just create something, right? It was going to be a producer. It would give me some, a product. It changed because soon what I realized is ChatGPT became a bit of a partner. I'm Todd Clough and these are my Clough's notes about AI, education, and everything. What I am doing now is I am using 3.5 and how I first used it that was meaningful to me, I did it in two ways. One is I used it for feedback about a letter I had written. So it was a cover letter to an application and I just said, can you give me some feedback? And because 3.5 is text only, I just copied the text, I put it into the text, uh, the format, and then I got feedback. I also got a best friend because this was a positive, encouraging, highlighting the things that were like working, giving me advice or some thoughts to think about in other ways. And I was like, uh. The second was when I got an acronym in a text from a friend out of state. And I didn't know what the acronym was. So I went to ChatGPT and I said, tell me about what could this acronym mean in this concept? And I ended up having this conversation back and forth when they I would get the suggestion and I would write back and say, I don't think it was that because of this. And what would it make a difference if it was in Illinois? And it was a fabulous chance that I felt like if I had a friend sitting in the couch sitting next to me and I would have said, what do you think this acronym means? That was the type of partner that I realized ChatGPT was starting to be. I'm Todd Clough and thanks for joining along for Clough's Notes. I'll give you a little bit more insight of some of my learnings in ChatGPT as we move along.